Hi, this is Viknesh. In this video, we are going to see a small tool that I have developed called Bulk Data Testing. Uh, basically, this tool helps us to create multiple records, update all the multiple records that you have created in a single transaction, as well as delete all those records in a single transaction. Let's see how to work with this tool. First, you choose the type of record that you need to create. Let's say we want to create account records. So this will load the record types that are available with that object. So here there are two record types. I choose account gem and I like to create a hundred records of account. So when we choose this record type uh, and click on submit, the screen loads all the fields that are available for the account object. It also defaults the values for those fields based on the record type that I have selected as well as it uh, filters out the pick list values based on the record type. So in the second section uh, we get to see all the fields and there is a create button as well. Uh, there is an error message called please fill all mandatory fields before clicking on create button. So I will give you more details about this error message at the end of the video. Uh, but let's uh, just fill in all the mandatory fields as of now. Uh, you fill in the account name to wake test. Uh, the other mandatory field is account owner and it is already filled. Let's see whether there are any more mandatory fields. Okay, so now we have filled in all the mandatory fields. I click on the create button. What this does is it creates a hundred account records and displays the statistics of that transaction. So here we see that uh, 100 records are created successfully and we see the transaction time as well. And we see a series of Salesforce limits that's, that this particular transaction has uh, consumed. All these limits are similar to the limits that we see in our debug log. So we see that there are zero circle queries, there are no rows that are fetched and the maximum CPU time is 65 milliseconds and so on. Now let's see whether all the hundred records are created. I'll refresh this accounts tab. And here you can see that uh, all the hundred records are created uh, and you can also find a counter that is concatenated with the field name. So uh, basically this helps us to differentiate between two records. So the counter would have started at 0 and it has ended till uh, 99 for the 100 records. I click on one of the records. Yeah, so you can see that uh, it has been created successfully. So I go back to the tool and I would I will try to update all these 100 records. So here you can see two buttons, update and delete. This update button uh, will update all the records that you created in your previous transaction. And the delete button will delete all the records that you have created. So only the records that you have created can be updated or deleted. Other records would not be touched by this tool. So I will choose this particular field. And I set it to yes and click on update button. So 100 records are updated and we see the transaction details. Let's check whether it has updated. So this account is getting refreshed and yeah, the active field has been set to yes. So it is updated. Next, we'll try to delete all the 100 records. I click on the delete button. So all the records have got uh, deleted now. Let's click on the accounts tab to confirm it. You see here that uh, there are no more records in the recently created account. So all the 100 records that we created are deleted successfully and uh, coming to this particular error message for filling in the mandatory fields
we will keep the magnetic fields blank and try creating a record let's see what is happening so i click on the account then the 100 records i click on submit okay so here's a mandatory field i make this as empty so now none of the mandatory fields are populated let's click on create so it shows an error call s object row doesn't does not allow errors uh, googling it i found that uh, there is a inbuilt bug with salesforce where if we use this particular method s object type dot uh, new s object which we have used in our tool uh, and uh, create a generic s object it uh, throws an error if we do not fill in the mandatory fields basically it, it, it is not able to handle the errors so uh, unless uh, salesforce fixes this issue uh, we would be seeing this particular error with our tool hope uh, salesforce fix, fixes it quickly and yeah of course this issue affects me let's load our uh, bulk data testing tool so uh, we have seen uh, what all we can do with the tool we can create multiple records updated as well as uh, deleted so where this can be useful so uh, when we start off with a new development in our developer box we might not have uh, the necessary data for us to start with our development so the developers can create sample data quickly in bulk uh, so that they can uh, start off with their development uh, this can also be used for testing purposes uh, create uh, multiple sample data for a testing as well as if a particular developer is going to create a batch class which affects data in bulk uh, he can create all the data and then uh, work on his uh, batch class after we refresh our developer sandbox usually there won't be any data in our uh, instance so we can quickly create uh, data with this particular tool uh, we can also check out uh, the salesforce limits that our particular change is uh, consuming so that we can uh, uh, tune the performance of our uh, change and uh, as we know we usually code the trigger we bulkify the code so but uh, there isn't many ways to test the bulkified code so we can use this tool to check whether a bulkified code works correctly whether it handles uh, the list of objects that are getting created and uh, it does the necessary changes perfectly so we can test uh, our bulkified uh, trigger code with this so thank you for watching this video hope uh, this helps you Thank uh you. -huh.